In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at a dividing decimals example. And the example is 44.94 divided by 0 0.7. So we're going to start off by dividing these numbers as we would do when we're dividing any numbers. So we're going to write the 0 0.7 on the outside and in the inside, you're going to write 44.94. The first thing you have to do is to get rid of the decimals in the outside number. And the outside number is 0 0.7. So you have to get rid of the decimal in this number somehow. The only thing you can do is to move the decimal point towards the right. In other words, you have to times the outside number by 10. So we have to move the decimal point towards the right, to the far right of the number. In this case, you only have to move it one space. Or in other words, you have to multiply it by 10. Because you're moving it one space towards the right, in the outside number, you also have to move decimal point in the inside number, also one space towards the right. After moving the decimal point to one space towards the right, now we have 7 as the outside number, and in the inside we have 449.4. So let's start by dividing these numbers first. So does 7 go into 4? It does not go into 4. So let's move into the next digit. Does 7 go into 44? Yes, it does. 7 does go into 44, and 7 goes 6 times into 44, because 7 times 6 is obviously 42. Now we have to subtract the 44 and 42, and 44 minus 42 is obviously 2. Next, you're going to bring the 9 down next to the 2. So when you bring the 9 down, you can tell 29. Now we have 29. Does 7 go into 29? Yes, it does. And it goes into 29 four times. So write the 4. Because 7 times 4 is 28. So now write the 28 and do 29 minus 28, which will be 1. Next, bring the 4 down. Now we're going to write the 4 next to the 1 to give us 14. Does 7 go into 14? Yes, it does. And it goes into 14 two times. So write the two on the top. Now, so far, we've got an answer of 642. But the next step we have to do is to add the decimal point. When you're dividing decimals, all you have to do, adding the decimal point, is to move the decimal point up. So when you move the decimal point up, it's going to slot in between the four and the two, so right here, which means it gives you an answer of 64.2. Now, Let's have a look at another example. And this example is 68.40 divided by 1.5. So let's start by arranging these numbers out as we would do with any numbers we're dividing. So write the 1.5 outside and write 68.40 in the inside. Now we have to do the first step, which is to get rid of the decimals in the outside number. The outside number, we have 1.5. The decimal point is right here. We have to get rid of it. The only way to get rid of it is to move the decimal point towards the far right of the number on the outside. In this case, you have to move it one space. Or in other words, you have to multiply it by 10. So what do you do to the outside number? You also have to do to the inside number. So move this decimal point also by one space. In other words, times it by 10. Now we're left with 15 as the outside number and 684.0 as the inside number. So let's start by dividing. 15, does it go into 6? No, it does not. Does 15 go into 68? Yes, it does. And it goes into 68 four times. So write the 4 because 15 times 4 is 60. So write the 6 and the 0. Now, 68 minus 60 will give you 8. So write the 8 down. Next, you're going to move the 4 down. So you're going to write the 4 next to the 8 to give you 84. And does 15 go into 84? 
Yes, it does. 15 goes into 84 five times. So write a five. Because 15 times five is obviously 75. So write the 75 down. Now we have to do 84 minus 75, which is obviously nine. Next, you're going to move the zero down and you're going to get 90. Does 15 go into 90? Yes, it does. And it goes into 90 six times. So write the six down. Now we have got an answer so far of 456. Next step, you have to add the decimal points. So you have to move the decimal point straight up. So right here. And that means we get an answer of 45.6. Now to learn more on Level Plus Maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.